Let's feed some tarantulas. Hi, this is Mark from Tarantohala. Welcome to the restructurized and cleaned up Tarantula Den. I need a better name for that. Uh, probably something with Vikings. Vikings are cool, like bow ties. This week was pretty hasty. <laughs> Every evening something came up, something needed to be done not directly connected with tarantulas so I needed to come up with a plan despite that that I have a script nearly ready that I really wanted to record so the plan was that every evening I will record something that is currently happening with my tarantulas and yeah this video is the result of that and to be honest I I really like this form because when you are keeping animals in these quantities stuff is going on all the time and yeah you're seeing the work of a tarantula fanatic day through day so let's get to the recap of this week and let's start with the feeding of big tarantulas let's go Finally! So, we got 5,000 small roaches since my slings are eating like crazy. Okay, let's give them a new home. Those egg crates that came inside this box are quite handy. This should probably suffice for, I believe, three or four months. All right, let's give them some food. Just two apple slices should be enough. And the rest of the apples go straight to the other roaches. Nothing goes to waste. This Acanthoscuria geniculata is right before molting. You can see that on the abdomen, which is getting quite dark. Normally this is skin colored, at least when the spider used its urticating hairs to defend herself. Normally this is skin colored, but under this outer skin is developing a new skin with new urticating hairs. If you're wondering what happened to those urticating hairs, they are right here on the webbing and this technically protects the spider from potential aggressors that could harm the spider while she is 
molting and I've noticed that one of my slings that I have right here is also molting. This is a Nandu Tripepi. It fell right on the back just a few moments before and this little guy here, uh, Afonopelma Semani, also needs a rehouse. It's molted a week ago. It already got a roach, but this little fella needs a new home, so we will prepare that. Small time lapse forward. Do you see that? So the Acanthoscuria geniculata is drinking the fluids that are left inside the mold and everything looks okay. So as mentioned earlier we need to rehouse this Afonopel Masemani. I've prepared a small enclosure here just in case I have a catch cap ready but I'm not sure if this will be needed. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This one wants to attack. Oh, come on, don't be a... Oh, I just wanted to swear. <laughs> this is a beginner tarantula. An Afonopelma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, do you see the nice reddish coloration on the belly? Awesome tarantula, but I need to rehouse this guy. <laughs> My little friend. Maybe a bit more aggressive. Tweezers are a bit safer than because this guy. He isn't really in, in the mood. But he will probably give up after some time. You're so angry, right? You are one angry tarantula. Ooh, can you see the fangs? My little friend, you need to go right here. That's, that's right. There you go. See, wasn't that so hard? There he is. The super beginner friendly Afonopelma. Okay, let's give him a roach. There you go. Nice one. And here's our little friend who molted. He seems fine. I really like the Nandu Tripepi. They are an awesome species. They are very feisty. They yeah, can be called aggressive, but I don't really think so. They are not aggressive at all. One important thing when it comes to keeping animals is to check if the health is correct. And with snakes it is good to check the weight from time to time. So this is what we will do right now and we will start with Sparrow. 104 grams for Sparrow, our female corn snake. 150 grams for Regis. Good job Regis. You're a beautiful snake, do you, do you know that? So yeah, I really like this vlog form. It's a bit more personal. This is stuff that is happening all the time. And for example, like with the Acanthoscuria geniculata, the molting, this stuff happens in two days. So yeah, things are going on <laughs> behind me. That's really awesome. I really like that. The scripted videos, I will put them online a bit less frequently because I really want to take my time and do my research on some stuff. I know a bit about tarantulas but still there's much to be learned and I want to learn that stuff with you. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing ring the previously was there um, ring the bell <laughs> tell
tell me what you like, what you want to see in future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Taranto Hala out. <laughs> this light is so, <laughs> so hot. It's so warm in here.